Zbelzy Commentary and Implanted. Hello, you two! Spazzy coming at you with a full game commentary of Nautilus or Natalus or Nononovonovich. <laughs> it's not important how it's pronounced, guys. It's important how it looks like and feels like when playing. And this is what we're gonna go through here. As you can see, we got no uh, Sona, Caitlyn bottom, Gangplank up top there, Cassadin in mid against Ziggs, Vayne, Zoraka bottom, and Vayne supporting the awesome new skin there, Gangplank in the jungle, and Lee's in top with Teleport. Uh, so I wanted to, you know, try and get a quick uh, gameplay out there of the new champion, because I remember myself, I really, I really do like enjoy to watch some you know standardized just gameplay of a champion before I buy them and uh, I wanted to give you know throw out one of these um, quite early like the patch landed uh, this is the morning of the patch actually so um, I wanted to throw one out there this is just a normal game I, it's even solo queue I believe yeah I'm alone here and it's just randoms so um, yeah we're gonna see how that goes uh, some thoughts about the new champion in general I think it's he's He's more fun than I expected him to be, uh, but I am still. Uh, hmm, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna leave my comments for that yet. You are gonna have to stay tuned for the guide, um, also as to what runes and masteries and stuff you want to build on him. I'm gonna save that for the guide for you guys. The guide will be coming out hopefully this weekend, and uh, yeah, my, I'm gonna share some of my thoughts th thoughts there as well. But yeah, he's he's all right. <laughs> he's okay. He looks weird. He's huge. I mean, I don't know if, you, if, if it comes through in this video, but he's freaking enormous in game. And here I'm just swimming a bit. And that's also a bit weird. But um, in this game, I do believe I, I try out some different types of runes. I, I go for, uh, I think I'm going for flat A, or at attack speed marks, I think. And the flat AD quints, just to see how that speed up my jungle. Unfortunately, that is going to require a good pull, and I don't believe I get one in this game. So, uh, even though I type, can I get some damage? I don't get it, so I'm going to go... But Cassadin is going to put a little uh, bulb there, I think, no? And I'm saying, oh, I need more, and Gangplank is just staying there, guarding the entrance, and he's not helping out at all. So this is going to be quite slow, as you can see, I'm already down to half health, and... Um, Starting off with that health regen item and, and uh, health pot, I'm not going to be able to rapidly regain a lot. And um, since I don't get any damage on this blue, I'm also going to take a lot of damage here. Uh, the game before this, I tried going, uh, what was it, flat HP quints, I think. And uh, mm, magic pen marks or armor pen marks, not sure there. But I'm playing around with it, just, you know, trying to get a feel for it. And again... Uh, when the guide comes out, I am going to go through it more in-depth, so you can see what I think is more, most efficient. Um, going through a standardized route here, grabbing wolves first, golem after, race, uh, small golems, and then red, and then beat to buy, or if I'm healthy, going for wolves. This requires that the lanes are doing alright, and uh, I'm not going for early ganks, um, but rather for a gank at level 3-ish, 4-ish, something like that. And uh, as you can see, one of my golems is missing here. I believe that bottom tried to take it. And uh, <laughs> they either got intercepted, I don't know, I don't think so. Or they just, they, oh, maybe we got invaded there by Gangplank. That's weird, just grabbing the small one. And uh, yeah, so here's where my runes is going to fail a bit. And since I didn't get a good pull in the beginning, I was kind of hesitant on going for this red. And I was like, mm, this is not good. Oh, my HP is dropping. Oh, one more hit and I'm dead. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> And I'm like, that was close, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I managed to get, grab that red. I am going to grab the Philosopher's Stone as first item. You probably want to get boots, but eh, I just want to get that go for five as early as possible. Grabbing a couple of pots there, one vision ward and just going to, or sight ward, green ward, ward of greenness. And now I'm going to try and look for ganks. I think GP, yeah, grabbing first blood there, top, excellente. Um, what else is going on in the patch? A lot of nerfs, I feel. Like, it feels like they've just nerfed characters in there, I'm going fail route there. In instead of, you know, bringing the OP characters down rather than bringing other characters up, which is correct. I mean, that's the way to go. So I'm going in here, I'm telling him, uh, let's go for Ziggsy Poo. But he's just gonna face check, and he, I guess he doesn't know Zig's cooldowns, and um, he's just gonna get pwned. Gonna land my anchor there though, red buff, red buff finishing it. Ugh. I can't talk, it's too early again. I should stop doing this in the morning. I'm, I'm always doing these kind of commentaries in the morning. Yeah, Red Boss fin finishing off Ziggs there. I'm gonna place my ward 
here so we know where Gangplank is. And I can see him low, level 4, and I am actually level, what is it, very, very close to level 5. I am level 5 now, and I'm smiting that, and I can see that he's moving here. So I'm just going to stand here and go, okay, well, if you want to gra gra grab me that free kill, I will take it. And that's um, another kill for me, so great. And now this, of course, gives me a very nice opportunity to just invade his jungle freely. And that is just what I'm going to do. In this video, I'll level up my E first. And the other uh, game I did, I leveled up W. Uh, w is a bit more damage. E is a bit more jungling, creep clearing, in my opinion. And Q is, of course, for ganking. I, I, I don't know. Again, you're going to have to stay tuned there. Wait for the guide. Wait for the guide, guys. I'm coming in top here. And um, I'm letting Gangplank know he's landing that parlay. I know he has that shield up, so it's going to go in there. But yeah, going to use a flash. So that's cool. Just going to stand here and see if I can land an anchor. No! Would have been cool, though. So I kind of like that. It's very seldom. Maybe it's because I'm unskilled with this character still. But it's very f seldom that I find myself uh, grabbing terrain to get you know forward. Seeing Ziggs War there, I am going to have to take a different route if I want to gank him again. Not through that brush. But... I am feeling a bit ballsy, so I'm gonna try and see if Cassidy can beat him like I did last time. But here comes um, uh, Lee Sin and Gangplank moving in. And GP Top doing a good job seeing this, moving directly for it. So I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna take some damage, gonna try and bait them into tr thinking, I can kill this guy! And here I'm gonna flash out of the 6 ultimate, don't wanna take that uh, uh, damage. And they are standing too long in GP's ult here, taking too much damage from him. So I'm just going there, grabbing another kill. Oh yeah, all your kills are belong to me. At least in normals. And <laughs> so I, I do realize I'm very close to 6, so I'm going to stay here in mid, grabbing 6 there, realizing that I have enough mana for it. I'm just going to go in and land it on someone. Hopefully it will do some help. And yeah, they are going to grab ga Gangplank there. Will they have enough for 6? Let's see. No, not going to be enough. But yeah, so I'm as you can see by my gameplay here, I am gonna gonna praise GP there for his good map awareness. That is always nice to see in normals. Um, I am playing very experimentally, <laughs> if that makes sense. I am trying to you know get a feel for the character, seeing what I can do, seeing what I can't do, popping the ultimate on people, trying to see what damage it does, how the projectile moves, you know, trying to get a feel really for the character. Going back here, uh, considering the boots. I don't grab level 2 yet, but yeah, I do believe that I'm going to do something different with the boots there. But grabbing another uh, gold per 5, a heart of gold there, which is which is good, I guess. Letting Cassidy know that it's time for blue, my friend. You uh, deserve it, because you died to Zix. So here you go, a blue for you. Knowing that Lee Sin warded there, I really am considering not going there, but since I see Gangplank coming in, I am going to hope that he is going to bait Lee Sin to engage, and then I can move in. So here I'm going top pinging, and Lee Sin landing a Q, they're beautiful, like, you really want him to land a Q when you're moving in for Gank, because that will leave him pushed in the lane. Just going to hit my anchor there, going in, and I think I'm going to try a kill steal with my own attack. Beautiful. Good job, Spazzy. Keeping those stats up. And uh, as I saw Gangplank coming in bottom, and uh, they did a good job bottom <laughs> grabbing a kill when Gangplank tried to gank, I'm just gonna go in and, uh, you know, steal some more jungle. Why shouldn't I? I have smite up, um, I uh, do have the feel that I am more powerful than Gangplank at this point, definitely. So I'm just gonna grab this red for my own. And this is of course very nice, because it sets Gangplank back a lot, and I will also be very capable of ganking more lanes. Uh, I'm gonna take a sip of my... Hmm. Coffee here, beautiful. Plant is here, by the way, obviously. Oh, here he is. Oh, sorry about that, man. Damn, I should have introduced you earlier. Going in for Ziggs here. I think he had the, has this warded, but I'm going in anyway. Hitting my anchor there. Kassan is going to rift walk in. I'm going to hit my ultimate. Pop him up in the air. Poof. And grabbing yet another kill. Good job, Spaz. Keep those stats up. Like I said, it's very important. Mmm, those kill steals I inform. And um, I am going to ward up here for Kassan in. And gonna look for a gank bottom. And here I'm thinking, nah, let's do Drake. Pinging for my teammates to come and help me. I am gonna take a lot of damage from this. I don't wanna do it on my own. Here I am engaging it. And we are gonna see if this can turn out into a fight maybe. Because I do believe they have this ward. Sorak is coming in at least. No, she's gonna... Yeah, she's gonna put a uh, ward now. So they didn't have it warden even. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm taking a lot of damage. I don't have... I do have defensive masteries, but I don't have that extra HP, quints, and it, it really shows, in my opinion. Here, Kassan is gonna rift walk. I have the, I, like, I wanna go around and push the minions and die this, but Kassan is gonna rift walk in, and uh, yeah, Sona there is gonna pop, pop down our crescendo on just Vayne, and Kassan has cooldowns at that point, so that was a bit of a bad uh, ultimate, unfortunately. Six coming in, of course, from mid, 
and uh, hitting that ultimate poof <laughs> uh, poof the end and uh, Kazan is gonna refall out there unfortunately our Sona dies so that's a bit meh but we grabbed the Drake and we're still in good shape and I realized I have my double buff I should just farm the jungle before I go back there's no point really not doing it I feel very safe and uh, grabbing the red there probably could have given this to Caitlyn but I didn't think of that so I'm just I'm just grabbing it for my own like I do with the kills in this game my god the kill steal. Just gonna hold off mid. I know Six doesn't have ultimate. I'm pretty low, but I'm feeling hmm. I can probably do dodge his uh, skill shot. So here it is. Oh, dodge it, smash it, dodge it. Oh, good job, man. Good job. I'm proud of you. And uh, oh my god, that loot low cooldown. You didn't dodge that one. You noob. Grabbing this these wolves and then going back for. Um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be interesting. I think I'm. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm trying something a bit differently here as well. I'm going for boots and mobility since so I don't feel like they have any sustained CC, like any hard CC. And I'm going for a Phage into a Frozen Mallet. And uh, as we can see, they're all top there. Uh, we are, I mean, Zix is top and Gangplank made. We are going to grab, grab the blue for our Kassadin, which is great. And look for a Gang bottom. No, they're not there. So we're going to try and go for Zix. He's, fo he's foolishly going to place down a ward at this point. No, he's actually going to try an ultimate bottom, which did not pay off since she didn't kill, kill one and my red buff there grabbing yet another kill beautiful beautiful um, so yeah boots and mobility phage I don't know um, just trying that build out because I do enjoy going a bit more offensive of the junglers I mean this guy should probably be played as a pure tank uh, and you know I'm, I'm, I am you know soaking up a lot of damage in this game due to the fact that I am slightly fed but mm, I don't know I'm, I'm trying stuff out so again I'm gonna say this for the Five, fifth time, I think. Stay tuned for the guide. Ah, so here we are gonna try and steal their red. I do believe we saw Gangplank bottom or something. Or no, nah, he's here. He's here, but it's all good. It's cool. It's cool. I don't know why I'm not blowing more abilities on this. Um, uh, hey, my phone, of course. Hello, Mr. Phone. Every single time I do a commentary. Although I did have it on no sound here, so... Kassan there gonna steal that red. I guess you... Um, you understand him since I have been stealing his kills. Uh, I understand him. But, yeah. So, we're looking good here. Unfortunately, Decent's gonna grab a double kill bottom. Not good. But I have, I have a feeling that we, we have this game solid in our hands. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna ping this turret and say, let's try and push a bit. I have no idea what HP there were bottom. Apparently quite healthy. I'm gonna land my anchor on that guy. I do think that I would have, we would have been able to burst him. But I didn't have my ultimate up there, then that's why we are gonna have to go be Lee in there, trying something out. And there I blow my ulti ultimate on him when Cassidy and Rifts walk defensively. So very, very bad. Badly placed ultimate. And um, yeah, that, that ultimate is a bit weird. Here I think Tix is gonna make a crucial mistake, not realizing that Cassidin can actually blink. Boof! Dead. <laughs> and I'm gonna just, yeah, throw out my anchor there going, huzza! Hitting nothing of Doom. Um, yeah, the ultimate projectile, it's a bit weird. Like, it's it takes a while to get used to. It's a bit slow. And yeah, I don't know. You have to go, you're gonna have to play around with that before you get used to it. Here, Gangplank is gonna make a nice ex escape from the jungle. Cassidy is gonna move in, and I'm gonna go. Can I grab the kill still? Oh no! But I apparently grabbed. That was probably terrain that I grabbed for a dead Soraka. Is a dead is a dead Soraka considered terrain? I don't know. I have no idea really. Grabbing more of their jungle here. I do, try to do that every single time. You get um, a key person die uh, killed. Not that Soraka is the key person to the top half of the jungle, but. I uh, do realize that Gangplank is not going to dare to go in there. But here he comes. I am going to try and do some damage. Uh, just popping my abilities here, waiting with my anchor until he's trying for to make an escape. I'm going to put it down there. And he is going to open it, but Lee Sin is going to be nice enough and kick me out of range of that. So that's all good. And Gangplank is going to finish up the other GP. And I'm just going to try and do some, as much damage and make a pro Q right there. You know, that's what you want to do. Miss a you know, target point blank range. Perfect. Nice skills there, Spazzy. And Cassidy mopping up that kill. Finally, Cassidy is going to get a kill in, in a team fight. Uh, best Q ever, indeed. Grabbing Frozen Mallet there. My HP is up there now, so I really want to get some defensive items. That's next items, I believe. If the game progresses that long. Going to ping this red for Caitlyn. Since I have Frozen Mallet now, there's really no point in me having it. Plus, Caitlyn is benefic beneficial with the red, of course. So, bottom here, clearing some creeps. Um, wanted to go, and here I see Caitlyn, I mean, Vayne... Uh, Stepping on the Caitlyn trap, so I'm pinging her. I am gonna try and just move for her 
Oh, yes, she's gonna step in range of my ultimate, beautiful. And here I'm gonna land a pro Q, she's gonna pump me away, but I land a Q just in time, and now I'm gonna get back on track and be on her at all times and just try and, you know, put some harass down. There comes a six ultimate, not doing much, just hitting Gangplank a bit. I'm just gonna pummel along, my passive there, stunning him nicely, and picking up a kill. Oh, yes, more kills, please. Um, Caitlyn's red buff there, picking up um, Gangplank. Kazanin's doing nicely. I'm just gonna auto attack that. Oh, come on, E, yes, E. E for the kill. That's good. <laughs> Those steals, I, I do. I no idea how I managed to grab so many steals in this game. But we are closing in on the surrender vote here. I am legendary. Feels good. Feels good. Um, yeah. So I hope you got a bit feel of the character while watching this. This um, full game commentary of Nautilus. And stay tuned for guide guys. And that's going to be more in depth of how what I think of this character and how you can play him. Uh, feel free to hit that like button. That is to your favorite. It really supports me. Also, don't forget to comment anything that's on your mind. And subscribe so you don't miss the freaking guide coming out i think i've given that like 100 plugs now that's it this is miss bazzy and i'm out Doots.